Tonight, Cleveland dog owners are going to have to live by a new ordinance that involves their pets. The new rules set in place to try to help dogs and possibly save their lives. Cleveland City Council is putting a limit on the length of time your dog can be left tied up outside. Good evening, I'm Lee Jordan. And I'm Danita Harris. Those supporting the new rules say this will help animals left outside in extreme weather. News Channel 5 Shay Harris is live with more on this story. And Shay, supporters you spoke with today say this new rule can actually make dogs nicer. Yes, Danita, and these folks are just like most of us who, when we see dogs tied up or chained up outside in the cold, we just cringe because they look like they just want to break free. Well, Cleveland City Council believe they've come up with a way to actually calm these animals down and make them safer for you. Clifton Button loves dogs. This one right here, she's in the house. The only time she's outside when I'm outside. Button says dogs should be treated like members of the family. That's why he agrees with Cleveland City Council's new rules for tethering or securing dogs. To me, chaining an animal is, is, is rough on them. It drives them crazy. Button believes dogs can get stressed by the elements. What goes on outside, the, you know, the atmosphere, they react to it. So when it's 4th of July and they're storming, like you say, it, it sends them into it, it stress them out. The goal here is not to incarcerate anyone or to create uh, or, or, or make fines on anyone. Cleveland Council Member Matt Zone says after they received numerous reports from animal control about loud barking, they decided to do something about what was causing the animals discomfort. And often when they would go there, they would see that the animals were improperly uh, secured and tied up. Zone says the animals were often on leashes that were were too short, needed water, or were in harsh conditions and needed shelter. Now, with this new ordinance, dogs can't be chained more than six hours in a 24 hour period, no more than two consecutive hours within that time frame. The goal here is not to incarcerate anyone or to create uh, or, or, or make fines on anyone, it's to make people be responsible and do the humane thing, the right thing, and let's help out these animals. Now, anyone violating this ordinance for the first time will get away with a warning. That second offense will be a misdemeanor in the fourth degree, and the third offense, however, will carry fines potentially up to $10,000 and six months of jail time. On your side, Shay Harris, News Channel 5. Pretty serious fine there. All right, thank you very much, Shay. As of today, pit bulls are no longer considered vicious by the state of Ohio. This stems from a bill signed back in February that changed the way Ohio defines vicious dogs. The law says says dogs that chase or bite someone and weren't provoked will be labeled dangerous. The old law said the same thing, but automatically labeled pit bulls as dangerous. Now proof is required before a dog is determined to be dangerous. Those dogs then have to be neutered, have a microchip inserted in them, and wear a special tag. The owner also has to post warning signs on their property.